Hey guys, and welcome back to my video. So, my last video I talked about how to photo bash jeans, and somebody had requested me to do a denim skirt tutorial or, you know, something like this, and to be honest, um, I would do a regular denim skirt, like where you, you know, outline everything and shade and all, all that, but your girl Icy Ella, you know, she always find a way to do something else, like different. And I figured out a way to basically make denim skirts by photo bashing. And what kind of designer YouTuber would I be if I didn't share this amazing information with you guys? <laughs> so today I will be teaching you guys how to make realistic denim skirts using the one and only Metabang and Pinterest. And ignore the top, I have no idea what was going through my head when I made it. It kind of looks like a handkerchief with boogers on it. <laughs> I'm still working on it, but I will show you guys how to make a skirt like this, but not this exact skirt because I will be uploading it to my group and I don't want like, you know, exact replicas out there. But if you want to recreate it and credit me in your description, I'm cool with that. This is exactly what I've been waiting for. This is exactly, I don't mean to sound like Cat Williams, but this is exactly what I've been waiting for. So I'm going to show you guys which skirt I really want to make today. Um, I found this on Pinterest, but just by searching mini skirts and then like literally going through hell and back to find a normal, um, you know, skirt to use. Like I said, you want a flat version of the skirt, but you know... I was looking through a lot of skirts and I do have options regarding like what I want to do tutorial on. Like I have this skirt, um, you know, I have some others, but I'm just going to show you guys how to make these awesome skirts. If you need a link to everything that's in this video, everything will be in the description, my Pinterest where you can find the pictures and the link to download Metabank and my Discord server where you can get any other assets you might need to design. So without further ado. Let's get into the cool part of the video, the actual tutorial. <laughs> All right, guys, so I did find this kind of cute <laughs> um, skirt. Um, ignore if I sound like I'm on drugs or something. It's literally almost 12 in the morning and I'm really tired, but I really wanted to film this video for a long time, but I found this good um, skirt because here it's like the flat and it's front and back. Like what more can you ask? It's literally a front and back given to you. And all you have to do is paste this on your damn template. Like it's that easy. But yeah, so the first thing that you're going to want to do is just drag these pictures to your desktop like so. Oh my God. Oh my God. Like so, just like that. And now we're going to go to Metabang and open new, open, and I'm just going to go ahead and open my advanced template, just like that. And now we're ready for the fun stuff. Okay, so just listen to what I have to say step by step. I promise it's very easy. And if you watch my last tutorial, this is just going to be a breeze to watch, okay? So you're just going to go ahead and open this picture that we just dragged to our desktop now we're just going to select just by dragging our mouse just around here like so and now we're going to click command c on our oh my god after copying we're just going to click command v to paste and this should happen drag it under your layer then take layer one and just lock it easily and now we're just going to zoom in a little bit and now we're going to take this layer and just delete the white around it like so click the erase tool and just delete the white <laughs> like this just like that and now we're going to adjust it to the torso of the template so let's just go ahead and do this and now we're just going to stretch a little bit stretch <laughs> like this just like that and it probably looks so stupid right now. I totally agree. We're just going to alter it. Oh my god. We're just going to alter it so it doesn't look stupid. Just like that, depending if you want it to be low-waisted or not. But we're going to make final adjustments at the end. So if it does look a little bit uh, concerning, don't worry. We'll fix all of it. And now that we did the torso portion, um, we're going to go back here and we're going to select the, 
uh, ruffles portion like that. Command C, V, and just like I did before, erase the white and we are going to paste it on our template. Okay, now we're going to click Command T to transform and we're just going to paste this, but I know it looks goofy, so let's go ahead and smudge it a little bit like this so it looks way better like that. And the top part does look a little bit concerning still, so I'm going to flatten it out and stretch it. Just like that, and don't worry if it still looks concerning, everything will make sense when we start shading and doing the fun stuff. So right now I'm just going to take this and alter it so it fits just like that. And now we're going to do, now we're going to for the sides, all I do for this is just select like the main color of it I guess. So just go like that, command C, and command V. And then just, what the hell? Bitch, <laughs> where'd it go? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Alright, just like that. And don't worry, we are going to put the ruffles at the bottom so it doesn't look stupid. Um, but yeah, here you go. Duplicate it, then flip it. Just like that. This is just the filler in the back. Don't worry. I know it looks dumb right now. Trust the process, okay? Now that we have the sides done we're going to go to our other picture that shows the back and essentially do the same thing just take the top and copy and paste it let's make it smaller so it's easier to clean Just adjust it so it's comfortable. All right now, and we're just gonna take the back side, just like this, just so everything matches and it doesn't look choppy, like it's a bunch of literal pixels. But let's just continue with this side. And then after that, the fun stuff begins. We can begin to shade and make it look more cohesive rather than a bunch of blue dots, <laughs> but... There we go, and now we're just going to do the sides really quick. Um, of course, if you want to make this part shorter, you can. There we go. And now we're going to add the ruffles on the side. I just take this original ruffle that I made. Um, I duplicate it. Oh, not this. I duplicate this, the ruffle part, and I just put it by flipping it like so on both sides. Like this. So that there is, you know, ruffles and it looks cute. But nothing will look cute until we begin to shade. So. Just like that. And if you want to extend the um, band of the skirt, you can. But it doesn't really matter right now. So now all I do is I merge all the layers. Just like that. And now we're going to begin to shade. So like I said before in my previous video, all you do is take the darkest shade you can find on the skirt. So right now it would be this shade of purple apparently and we're going to click new layer clipping and we're just going to click the line tool drag it here and here and now we're just going to click gauge and blur just a little bit to a four and then we're going to add 
motion blur to make it look more realistic, I would say. And lower the opacity. Let's just clean up the lines a little bit here. And now we're going to add our highlights by simply doing the same thing. Click clipping, then go to the white. And let's just add it here, 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 here on the butt. Click add. And now we're going to lower the opacity like so. Click Gaussian blur. And look at that. It's like makes such a big difference when you add your highlights because it gives like that denim like washed out denim look but yeah you could you can lower your opacity however you want and now this is my favorite part the part where i think it brings it all together right now it's at like a pretty awkward length in my opinion um you know it it, it looks kind of awkward because it, it just it doesn't doesn't look good it doesn't look clean so what i do to make it clean i merge everything together and then I click Command T and I just squeeze it a little bit because I do like my skirts to be low waisted, you know. So now I'm just going to select this entire upper portion, just that. Click Command T and make sure you have free transform on and then just like lower this part. And feel free to, you know, add between the ruffles. For example, if you want to make your ruffles a little bit more you know, enunciated, you can always, you know, play around with the shading, but I do like its natural shading, kind of like here, I didn't have to shade much besides, you know, the obvious, but here would just be a basic skirt, and it does look kind of like weird <laughs> compared to this one, because I guess it's the picture, or maybe I'm just freaking tired, but the point is across, all you have to do is just copy and paste the picture just like and make it here i guess in comparison it looks pretty bad i'm not really a friend like a f not really fond of this color choice but i guess i can always like change the hue make it lighter i'm not really sure but i guess you guys get the point we can even make it gray i guess it's the color that's like pissing me off mm, maybe i'm just bad i don't really know but yeah i hope you guys know this video Sorry, this kind of looks like a flop, but I feel like if you add a picture and like a top, it would look way better. Um, if you want to do it your own way, of course you can, but at the end of the day, it's all one, it's all one process. Just copy and paste the pictures, and that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and give it a thumbs up if you did, and I'll see you guys in the next video.